A-N. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You are watching the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you all had an okay weekend. We have a lot to look forward to in this, this market. The earnings are out of this world. Of course, we had On Semiconductor come out. You have Ford coming out today. We have Alphabet, Visa, AMD, Advanced Money Destroyer. Let's see what's going on with AMD right now. You had some good news coming out of NVIDIA. You had some okay news coming out of TSMC. Talk a little bit about that. AMD is kind of up pre-market uh, right now or excuse me, pre-earnings, trading at 159, up 1.82, and that is coming out uh, tomorrow. Let's see, you have Pfizer's, you have McDonald's, of course, McDonald's infected a bunch of people with E. coli, so we'll see how that goes. They did end up bringing that double quarter pounder back to the region that had the onions that was infected with E. coli, and so we'll see how uh, that affects them, probably, I would reckon really not too much. Uh, you have Pfizer, uh, HSBC, good Lord, Chubb, Anheuser Busch, Dallas. This is a lot. This is a massive. This is a massive week. Spotify coming out tomorrow. EA is coming out. EA, I think, is probably well, probably going to get hit pretty hard, right? Let's see. Off about 0.71 percent. Well, EA has been doing okay recently. I'm waiting for Ubisoft. I think they're coming out sometime next month, um, but they're going to get kind of squashed as well. I do feel that uh, probably the video game company at least that's going to have the best quarterlies you should look for this is going to be Activision Blizzard. Uh, they've been doing very well uh, with World of Warcraft. They brought it back to China, of course, and this still, uh, this ramp up occurring is, is going to be reflected in some of their earnings for the past month. Uh, EA has not really been doing uh, too much. Of course, a lot of their games still have the online marketplace, which I'm sure is a massive revenue driver, and they're not as bad off as something like Ubisoft is currently a first solar tomorrow. And let's see, Microsoft on Wednesday, Caterpillar, AbV, Eli Lilly, Meta Platforms, Starbucks. This is the day, this is the week to get your options in, folks. Good Lord. MicroStrategy, Allstate, Coinbase. And then what I'm really curious about is on November 4th, you're going to have, this is going to be next Monday, you're going to have Palantir releasing earnings. Now, I took profits just earlier today in my Palantir. Uh, he asked me why. I'm still bullish on the company, right? You've, you know, you have a gap up here and not any kind of insane volume. Uh, a lot of strange volume on this day, probably some funds getting in. They're still expanding in with the U.S. military. They're getting into healthcare. I, I like this. When you get around to earnings, now usually I'm okay with super high PEs, uh, but when you get around uh, certain earnings, especially after the stock has run up uh, to make you know essentially all-time highs, especially on some low volume, and you get this high PE, I get a little bit uh, nervous just for the short term on it. So I did end up taking profits uh, in this. People are anticipating okay earnings reports, right? They've they've gotten better revenue. Uh, here, let's pull it up, actually. I can just talk about it instead of saying it nebulously. So, I mean, I guess first things first, right? Yeah, the state of Alaska uh, boosted their holdings in Palantir. Uh, they own 370,625 shares of the company after purchasing an additional 68,945. The state of Alaska's Department of Revenue holdings in Palantir Technologies were worth $13.7 as it stands. So it's kind of nice. You don't have a lot of insider activity to the downside, which is good. Uh, and then we're looking for an EPS in Palantir, about 0 0.05. Their revenue has gotten a lot better, especially doing the Maven project with the United States. And uh, I do see a pretty good future for the company. This PE sketches me out just a little bit, again, around earnings. And I think if earnings come out, you already have a lot of Wall Street that's honestly kind of geared against this stock. Um, you have a lot of sell positions on it. You have price targets uh, from a lot of the large banks around that mid-20s area. So I could see any kind of earnings that aren't exceptionally stellar kind of be a driving factor to get out of this stock on the short term. You have a lot of people who are around this area, really any of these areas, who kind of just want to take a profit 
Um, again, when you're talking about large AI companies that have that nominal integrated kind of LLM interface with the rest of their stuff that also sells to the military, the military does not want to spend money to try to pivot off what they already have, right? There's always going to be conflict, unfortunately, even if you have uh, vast periods of peacetime, intelligence gathering still goes on, right? And Palantir can really be at the center of that. And it looks like they're gearing up to be at the center of that. Uh, so we'll wait and see kind of what happens. I, I do think that if we get a major dip in Palantir after earnings, I probably will add more back uh, because I do think on the long term, uh, this company is going to be a standout player. So when I'm, you know, whatever, in my 40s or, or mid 30s, uh, it, it will have treated me very well. Let's see if there's anything else coming up. And then, of course, Thursday, you have Apple, you have Amazon, you have MasterCard, you have Merck, you have Uber, you have Shell, you have Comcast, Total Energies, Conoco Phillips, BMY, Cigna. You know, it's definitely an interesting week. I think after the day today, I'm going to take some time and see if there's anything interesting uh, to do some plays, at least with something like Apple. You know, I think some interesting stuff going on with Apple. It seems like they're really leaning in uh, to some of the healthcare things. The new AirPod Pros can act as a hearing aid feature, which is actually pretty uh, interesting. Uh, additionally, you have the new iMac with the M4 ARM chip starting about $12.99. This is gonna be this massive rollout of AI on personal computers, namely laptop. We saw with things like um, Microsoft and, and, and Qualcomm with their Snapdragon chip. Uh, that that was a major source of revenue for the company, that the, that the computer essentially has a built-in kind of native AI. Uh, that won't really be reflected, obviously, in this earnings report, but I think going forward, uh, that's going to be a massive driver for them. Uh, additionally, they're rolling out an update on the iPhone, a uh, free software update that's going to contain AI. And I wonder, you know how that's going to operate on some of the older devices, but we'll see what happens with that. We'll talk a little bit more when we get back. We have Steve Rhodes of Mastering Probability up next when we get back from the break.